Hello everyone, welcome to installing the Giulio Dondi shuttle in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 with Realism Overhaul. This was requested in the comments and I will do a separate video on running the space shuttle because that's a whole other topic. I'll just talk about how to install it first. In a clean install of Kerbal Space Program, we'll start with installing Realism Overhaul as well. And this space shuttle mod is based on the Space Audi shuttle, which was in turn based on other versions of the same space shuttle system down to the component space shuttle. And I don't know who exactly was the origin of all this, but it's been handed down from mod to modder and it is not my mod. This also came up in the comments. So I want to clarify, definitely not my mod. And uh, it's been modder to modder for a while now. I believe the textures on the shuttle are based on the model on the NASA 3D models website. So, but I think they've also been improved over time. Uh, for instance, this has a texture overhaul and new liveries, which I don't know if I want that livery. But anyway, uh, this was updated May 2024. And so I don't actually have this newest version. And so perhaps I'll also be doing videos checking it out. So I should probably install it. So I have a new install of Kerbal Space Program here. I've called it Shuttle 4. And that is because I have a lot of installs of Kerbal Space Program, including many involving the shuttle. And this is the first thing I should note. Uh, you can make multiple installs of Kerbal Space Program. You just run it using ksp underscore x64.exe. So, and when you install mods to it, you use ccan. Well, uh, I can uh, tell you how to not use ccan, but let's just use ccan for now. Um, uh, that will install the mods to whatever folder CCAN happens to be in. So, the first thing we need is Realism Overhaul. Uh, well, let's just go through the dependencies that are listed here. We might as well get, go in order. So we see the dependencies. I'll link this page in the video description. And so, ASET, ASET Avionics Pack, so that one. B9 Part Switch. Now, B9 part switch is not here, <laughs> unfortunately. Should be around somewhere. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a bit. That is necessary for changing the textures from like one shuttle to another. So, KSP wheel. That's that one. Community resource pack. Well, Community Resource Pack comes with Realism Overhaul. So let's just check Realism Overhaul. So Realism Overhaul. And since we're, I'm not installing it for RP2000, I'll just use the latest version. If I was using it for RP2000, I would need to use an older version because uh, RP1 is the only approved of career for Realism Overhaul. So... My, my own RP2000 career is not approved of, I guess. So the, the, one of the requirements of Realism Overhaul is Community Resource Pack, so we don't have to check that separately. Uh, textures Unlimited. TAC Life Support is my go-to. You can use Kerbalism instead if you want to, but it says while both are supported, work, uh, Kerbalism is work in progress. And that is because Kerbalism is complicated. So... Attack life support for me for now. And Waterfall. Waterfall, I think, should come with Realism Overhaul, but we can check markets separately. Okay, so those are the requirements. And then you'll notice the personal fork of Ferrum Aerospace Research. So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to open that in a new tab. So keep that in mind. Now, install all the requirements. So that's the first thing we do. So let's do that. So this is the change set. Okay, it's a lot of stuff because Realism Overhaul requires a huge bunch of them. You can see required by, required by. And so apply. Okay, and then it's got these recommendations. Well, Real Solar System is a recommendation of Realism Overhaul. We will go with that. And I'll go with the high resolution ones. Okay, loading images, I don't care about really. That's fine. But we have to keep in mind B9 part switch, okay? These are all okay. There's one other thing that we need I'll talk about separately. These are the main requirements. 
but not real antennas. Let's set that aside for now. Everything else should be fine. So as you can see, I, I loading images is up to you. Real antennas, it didn't say that this was compatible with real antennas necessarily, though it should work fine. But yeah, we'll set that aside for now. Okay. Choose mods. Tweak scale. Why do I want tweak scale? Fine. But uh, tweak scale's got complain when you use it. <laughs> um, tweak scale doesn't like to be installed by CCAN these days. Okay, that the highest quality RSS textures for me, for you, you might change that. And I'll just take the scatter sunflare for now. Don't go installing too much stuff. Okay, that all done. There's probably one other mod that you would like to use with the Giulio Dondi shuttle, and that's the one that runs the special scripts that go along with it, and that is KOS. So KOS scriptable autopilot system is what you want, and so I'll add that to the thing as well. And But none of these. None of these. I'll leave CCAN for now. We need B9 part switch, so I'm just going to use search Google for B9 part switch. <laughs> and uh, we have B9 part switch. It probably what's happening is it's not popping up because it doesn't say that it's 1.12.5 compatible, and I've got 1.12.5 install, and it's only 1.12.3. Uh, so just like search Google. So I just downloaded the zip and I am unzipping that especially. Okay. And then Gilo Dondi's Fem Aerospace Research Branch. I'm downloading the source code. What we really want is this game data folder. This is his part. So don't don't unzip all of this into your folder. That's not what you need. You just need this bit. And so uh, once you download the the source code, you just need to go to game data, take this, take that, delete that, and then take the Julio Dondi version and plop it in. Okay. Let's see about the instructions that I had here. Delete any existing uh, space shuttle RO config, RO realism overhaul, suggested mods, and space shuttle system. Delete this folder. Okay. Check if you already have a folder. No, we don't. If you do, delete it. Uh, copy the contents of game data. And that's in the mod. We haven't installed the space shuttle mod yet. Uh, you can ignore the far shuttle aerodynamic model folder. That's the source code for the aerodynamic module. If you use the joystick, set the control settings. Uh, wire wheel steering to the same axis you use for yaw control. Uh, hopefully your wheel is going with the yaw control. That's normal. Uh, that I would think would be the default thing, but maybe uh, maybe I'm wrong and that's an old thing. Uh, shuttle control surfaces come pre-configured to be compatible with the re-entry script. If you use other scripts, you'll have to reconfigure them. Uh, so we'll talk about the re-entry script and the launch script in a separate video. Uh, if you just updated the space shuttle mod, you will need to reassemble from scratch the shuttle in the VAB. I'll put it together. So now it's time to actually get the mod, get the source code, uh, save it to where you save your mods. It says it's tested for 1.12.3. I'm going to be in 1.12.5. So after you download it, you're going to have this folder. Open that. Ignore that folder. Open the game data folder. Always look for the game data folder. And the stuff inside the game data folder is what you want to unzip. So here you'll see that it comes with its own realism overhaul configurations, you see. And uh, there's the space shuttle system folder. And in SSTU, uh, just has the plugin SSTU tools, which it uses. So, okay, and that's what we've got now. And that should be all we need.
All right, so keep in mind, I have not installed environmental visual enhancements or scatterer or any of the other visual mods that we would need to like get clouds here. Uh, so there are things that you will need to do besides the ones that I've put in, I've put in like the minimum. So I'm not going to belabor this. None of this matters particularly. All right, shuttle. So we have shuttle parts here, which we wouldn't have otherwise. And we have the orbiter. Uh, we unfortunately have two. <laughs> um, that worries me. There should only be one. Well, uh, unlike the older versions, the body comes with the wings. That's something. And apparently it also comes with the nose gear. So I guess I'll put it together. Main gear, main gear, toggle gear deployment. Well, uh, these have to go in too. These also have to toggle gear deployment. You, I mean, they should probably go with the gear action groups, so that's not going to be a problem. Okay, then the left elevon. The right elevon. The vertical stabilizer with parachute. Okay. Now, which one? Tail control surface, I think, is the right one. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, do not, under any circumstance, put real engine pack into the install. And that's because it will prevent you from actually seeing the correct SSME. Uh, so, uh, you won't get the... Space Shuttle main engines if you have Real Engine Pack, because Real Engine Pack will try to replace the SSMEs with its own SSME, and that one will not work with the launch script, the KOS script. So, left OMS pod. Right OMS pod. And AJ-10-190. You may want to tilt the AJ-10-190s a little bit differently. I'll just leave them as they snap too, but uh, they should probably be tilted out a little bit as well. So that's the main body of the shuttle and then the body flap. Body flap, shuttle body flap. Now let's make sure B9 part switch works. Um, for some reason, right-click isn't working for me right now. Well, there's no problem there. Okay, now... Okay, now it works. All right. Okay, a little bit of a hang-up there. But, uh, yes, let's check B9 part switch. And so, the textures should change. There's Challenger, Discovery, Atlantis, Endeavor, Columbia. That's Columbia Modern and then Discovery. Okay, so we've got a variety of those textures. The wing would go along with those. Um, as you can see, the wing changes as well. But uh, the tail also has its own thermal tile configuration. The silts pod was for Columbia later on. And then there's this thermal blanket one and then Moonraker. Let's not talk about that. Uh, <laughs> let's not talk about that one. Uh, there is also two configurations for the OMS pods, so um, new would go along with Atlantis a little bit better. Is that supposed? Oh, no, that's off. Okay, yeah, let's just go with Atlantis Modern all the way. Okay, so that's that, and then we have the external tank. And then we have the decouplers for the boosters. Okay, the boosters have to be like the ring, the bottom ring for the booster decouplers should be right at the bottom there. Okay, and then the boosters. Oh, I forgot the Kuban antenna. I always put that wrong though. So 
I'm not going to. <laughs> uh, yeah, there's, there's the orbiter docking system, which is like that. And then the Kuban antenna is... It's always the rotation that gets me. Yeah, the, the people have told me how to do it. I'm just going to leave it off. It always confuses me. Okay, uh, back to... And get the Kuban antenna that's actually colored. For some reason, we have a non-textured one. I think the boosters... Well, we have the separation motors for the boosters. Let me set those aside. But I think the boosters are in are not showing up. So there'll be a, there'll be two RSRMs. Uh, you want the one with the greater mass and the one that looks more complicated there. So keep that in mind. The other one is just a stock part, I think. So it should snap like this in there. If it doesn't snap, then it's not the right one. And then there's the nose cones. And I always forget the angle that they need to be. Um, possibly we want mirror symmetry for all of this. So instead of having it like this, I'm going to switch to press R to switch to mirror symmetry and make sure that it's like that. That's mainly to put the nose cone and the separatrons in mirror symmetry. And hanger extender was a mod that was optional, but it's helpful here. So now that that's in mirror symmetry, these might go on a little bit easier. I believe it's sort of like that. Okay, and then these, that's separation motors right. Which one's right? Um, another thing I always get wrong. You sure you want me to tell you how to put this together? Okay, well, there's... I mean, that, oh, okay, we don't want it to be symmetrical, presumably. And then this one's left. Okay, so in theory, it'd be like that. I'd have to check images to make sure. I usually put extra separatrons on just in case because otherwise it tends to hit the wing and bad things happen. Usually the Elevon gets killed. So, uh, there are different external tank textures depending on which version. This is for the first couple of flights and then this is the original lightweight tank and then ultimately the super lightweight tank. And you can see the mass is different. The original mass is 34.7. Then they took the lightweight paint, uh, paint off and then it became 30 tons, and then ultimately super lightweight tank is 26.45 tons. So, great mass savings. And, of course, you'll want clamps and stuff like that. But that's beyond the scope of just putting it together. So, SSMEs first. Then the boosters with any clamps that you have. And then I'll have to remember exactly how it's supposed to go for the KOS script. Oh, one other thing. The little ET doors should be open initially. Okay, but anyway, we've got the parts. So it is installed properly. As far as running it is concerned, I'll cover that in a separate video. Uh, this has been installing the Giulio Dondi shuttle in Kerbal Space Program 1.12.5. And with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.